Okay, and we are back. I did not mean to stop the video, but I'm not going to start it over. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, as you can see, uh, it did run and it ran great, so there was no errors. But there's no record, so that is a good thing. That lets us know that it did not find anything, so it's throwing up this warning right here. So let's go ahead and add some records into our database. <clears throat> let's go ahead and open up our file here. Now, uh, on the original one, I've got uh, these records right here, and I'm just going to use these records instead of having to create more records. So, uh, okay, we've got these records right here, so these are the ones that I'm going to be using. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's go back down here and open up this table. Okay, now, what we're going to do here, instead of copying each one, we're just going to select them all. Then we're going to come down here, and we're going to paste them. Okay. <clears throat> now, that gives us our three records. And let's go ahead and change this. To zero. Okay. Alright, now they are records let's go ahead and close out of this and this one okay now we're going to leave this up now, as you can see each time that it's run it should give us a different record and as you can see right here the other one was the 2011 this one right here is the pc xbox and then that one right there is the back to the 2011 Okay, and then that one. So, <clears throat> let's go back over here. Oops. And let's run our page again. And there we go. Now we've got it set for five seconds. So, every five seconds it should show us a new ad. Okay, well, the problem is, is that, uh, as you can see right here, we've got our div dot fade out slow but we forgot our dot here so everything's got to have a dot so then we save it we go back over here load our page again and then if things go right it should rotate okay and for our hopefully last issue we had a dot here that wasn't added in and we also have a dash which is supposed to be the equal sign so then we save it we go over reload our page fingers crossed bingo and for some reason it's not updating so come on update there she goes alright so uh, as you can see let's go ahead and Jump this thing up to 50 seconds so that it'll stop refreshing itself. Okay, now the next thing that we want to do here is that we want to make it so that whenever we click on our link here, we've got a page to go to. So, once again, wait, hold it. We want to keep this and Uh, so it all depends on what you want to do with this page. You've got two ways of doing it. You can either display information or you can have this page redirect to the actual product page on whichever affiliate that you're affiliated with. So let's go ahead and uh, make it so that this is going to be a redirect instead of a regular page. So let's go ahead and add in our script in here. First thing, grab a hold of the top, and then we want to type out a lot of code. So, first thing here is SQL RS equals request dot query string URL. Okay, we're going to use that again. So if Now, and if. 
Okay, so next part. It's set RS Pro hits. So if you want to make this a lot easier, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna grab a hold of this and paste it. This right here will save us a lot of time. And we're gonna remove these where ADID equals. Okay. So now what we want to do is rename that. We can leave every all the SQL run as can stay the same. So we can do uh, copy this. D A R A M E T E R dot append. Then we do it again for create parameter at ADID and we want 3 1 and then we got a, a blank field there and then our SQL RS okay now see what this is going to do is that this is going to look at the SQL RS is coming in with the query of ads and then it's going to look at it at our database and see if it exists and if it exists and it's going to continue so if not dot end of file then end it so ad id ad name ad image ad well, just do click and uh, ad link equals Like I said, copy and paste saves you a lot of time and also helps you from making a lot of typical errors. Okay, now we're going to do our update statement and we're going to need this again. We're just going to delete a few things. So, if session SQL RS equals Make sure it does not increment again. Okay, now put this down here, get rid of this, and this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now what we're going to do, we need two of these. And we're going to update our add units set ad flex where adid so initiate hits is going to take place of that. Okay, now we're going to go right here and we're going to create initiate hits C and T and this is going to be initiate hits plus one. <coughs> so, what we're going to do here is that we're going to look and see if This is the actual line that creates a session variable to the name of the URL. Okay, then we're going to end it. Okay, now what we're going to do here is that once we see that the record exists, okay, the record exists and there is a count of one then we're going to add a one to it. So we're gonna update the record with two instead of one. So if there's 500 in yonder, then we're gonna add one to 500 and it's gonna be 501. So that is how this little system right here works. So now we go down here and we gotta close out of everything. So
Okay. Alright, once we close out of everything, okay, right in this area right here is where we will add our redirect. So you can, there's different ways to do a redirect. Uh, you can do a, um, um, a header redirect in your meta tag, or you can do a response.redirect. So do a response.redirect, and then it's going to be of this link right here. So you just copy and paste that into there. So whenever this page loads, it is automatically going to redirect to whatever link is in here and so in this case we do not want to redirect it right now but we just want to show a name okay so once this page right here is loaded it should see if the record exists if it does then it's going to create initiate a hit then it's going to update the record here with that hit so let's go ahead and save this and this is look.asp. Alright, now we can go ahead and click on this without reloading it. So click on that. And let's see what we've got here. So on line 22, we've got our then. So add in our then. Go back over here, reload the page. And then we've got a problem here on line 12. Object doesn't support this property or method. So, which is our SQL adds parameters. So let's go there to line 12. Okay, uh, the problem was is that I forgot an S at the end of that. So, gotta do the same thing down here since we copied and pasted that. So then we save it. Misspelling is a pain in the butt. So then we reload the page. And there we go. So, ships free 2011 holidays. So, that is our first one. And let's see if we actually got a hit in our database. So, let's go ahead and get rid of this that and run it and there we go there's our hit in the database so everything runs right everything does what it's supposed to do and so like I said the only thing that you need to do in order to do a redirect is just simply um, response dot redirect and then add link here See, this way you don't have a bunch of coding. You don't have a bunch of mess that aggravates you. It's simple, quick, and easy. You don't have to worry about really nothing. And so this is a really cool thing about actually hand coding everything by yourself. You just got to go through your little errors that you run into. Other than that, it is wonderful. I love doing it. So anyway, that's basically it for uh, this tutorial. I mean, as long as you've got your... Um, uh, your jQuery spelt right and you've got your 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 dots and your equals and everything else uh, where it's supposed to be at and your link is correct then your jQuery is going to work in order for your um, your um, this page to work all of your SQL has to be right and see this is basically what will happen if you was to click on here with the response redirect and so this is number three so once you get there it's going to response redirect and it's going to hopefully open up the microsoft site right here for you and so that's how that response redirect works it's that simple so and you should have also another click so let's see here It didn't count my click. So anyway, I uh, tried to check in on why it didn't count the click. So anyway, that's where you come up to Microsoft site. Getting close out of that. <clears throat> but uh, but anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that y'all enjoyed this uh, quick tip. Uh, and if you have any questions, post them down in the comment box, and uh, I'll post down below why it didn't uh, uh, click when it's supposed to click. And uh, so, but anyway, everything else should run fine. And uh, remember, if uh, this right here 
will also only count every 30 minutes. So if you got somebody that wants their uh, um, that wants their uh, hit uh, their ads to get more hits from your site, then they can click on it all they want. Okay, but it's not going to count inside of your database except at every 30 minutes per article ID. So or per, per ad ID, it's going to get a click every 30 minutes. So if they wanted hundreds of hits a day, they're not going to get it. In a one day period, you're looking at 24 hours. Be lucky if they can get 48 hits in one day. And so I would hate to be the person that's going to sit there for somebody and click on an ad every 30 minutes. So anyway, this is Wayne Barron for Dark Flex TV. Hope that y'all enjoyed this uh, uh, little bit of a lengthy two part due to me stopping the recording before. Uh, ASP ad rotation system. Now I will be doing an ASP.net Visual Basic ad rotation within the next day or so. So uh, y'all look forward to that if y'all want to learn that as well. And uh, y'all have a rocking rest of the week. And uh, stay cool. Thanks.